Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and I hope all of you are doing awesome. Today I am going to take up a very common thought and question that is automation going to take away our jobs or is automation going to decrease the number of jobs. Now I am going to be very frank, very honest and based on my experience observation, I am going to tell you frankly what I think. You are free to give me your opinion and also let me know if you think I am right or wrong in the comment section below. Now I will actually uh, compare it and look at the past and look at the trend and then I will give you some real world examples so that you can have a very clear picture on what automation is exactly doing and what can be threats of automation. Now today in any industry if you look at you will see that automation is coming everywhere whether it is IT industry, whether it is car manufacturing, whether, whether it is phone, agriculture, banking, everywhere you will see automation is coming in. Now what I always believe is, now I am going to tell you two very real world examples but before that I strongly believe that all the work whether you are in IT or agriculture or any industry, all the work which is highly repetitive, mundane and we do not actually should be using our human resources in doing these kind of repetitive and redundant work. All this kind of work can be and should be delegated to machines and humans should be available and should be doing some really interesting and higher and uh, more cognitive work. And this is actually what I believe should be the target of automation or automating things. Let me now take an example. The first example I'm going to take is of the banking industry. Now you must have, uh, if you recall, not so very long ago, few years back, there was a time when we had to visit bank for every possible thing we wanted to do in the banking system, whether to withdraw money, deposit money, transfer funds, even to change a phone number or an address, we had to physically visit a bank. Today all these things are automated. We have ATMs that is automated teller machines and we can withdraw from there, we can deposit there, we can do all these address phone number changes from there and then we have online banking. We can sit at our homes or offices and we can transfer funds and manage our account everything online and it is very very rarely that we have to visit a bank physically. Now all this has been possible due to automation. Now do you think that it has decreased the number of jobs? If I look at the past and if I look at the reports, it is not the case. In fact, there is an increase in the number of bank jobs and there are a lot of uh, positions that are lying vacant as of now. Now what has happened here is when we have delegated these redundant and repetitive tasks to machines, humans are now available to do some higher cognitive work and because of that they are able to actually do newer things and generate more jobs. Let me take an example of financial inclusion. Now financial inclusion says that because a lot of our population is still outside the banking system, they do not have a bank account and I believe there is more than 80% of such population. So a uh, government and uh, these banks are trying to include them in the banking system and the best way to do this is a bank representative carries a tablet with him and he goes to the remotest of villages and then tries to open as many accounts as he can and this all has been possible because of automation. So this is actually including and adding more and more people in the banking system which is eventually increasing the jobs and this is true for other industries as well. Let me now take uh, an example of a uh, traffic signal. There was a time when a traffic policeman used to stand at the middle of the crossroads and he would control and monitor the traffic himself. Today we have automated traffic lights and all this is automated and then now traffic where, wherever we have traffic lights is much more smoother and the traffic policeman can be there for some other work. He can help people emotionally and in other ways which an automated system may not be able to do and still the number of jobs are increasing in the traffic department. So if you see, if you analyze and if you really look at this uh, picture, you will understand that whether it is any industry, IT, banking, agriculture, automation is actually useful and all the work which is repetitive, redundant and can be delegated to machines must be delegated to machines and humans should work on higher thoughtful cognitive works 
and that will increase more opportunities and more jobs. This is how I look at it and this is what I feel. Automation should be seen as something which is helping us and helping us grow and helping us create more opportunities. These are my thoughts and I want to know what do you think, whether I am right or wrong or whether you have a different opinion. Please let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next episode of Ask Raghav. Thank you so much for watching.